Well, as school districts work to come up with their reopening plans for the fall, we're hearing today from some teachers unions ahead of the governor's official guidance coming tomorrow. Here's our Jeff Preval to explain. And today we heard from the state teachers union, which says that teachers, they really want to get back into the classroom, but of course, everyone wants to do so safely. In the initial guidance released yesterday, State N says that there will not be a one-size-fits-all model for schools, so in-person or virtual or a mix of both will depend on the district. If there's in-person schooling, and this really pertains to kids in pre-K and kindergarten, there will be one teacher assigned to each class for three-year-old students with a class size of seven children or fewer, and there must be one teacher assigned to each class for four-year-old students with a class size of eight children or fewer. This indicates more classrooms. I know in our district, just the, the number of rooms becomes an issue because if, you, if you're looking to a situation where you have to expand outside the number of classrooms that we have right now, there really isn't that availability in most of the buildings right throughout our district. So schools will really need to get creative to find that space and get those plans approved by the state. On sanitation, the state teachers union says that it has been looking into machines that can quickly sanitize classrooms, but there remain a lot of questions such as what to do with visitors to schools. And there are also questions on what to do if someone refuses to wash their hands or wear a face mask. Those are things that still need to be worked out. The state education department says that full guidance is expected to be released tomorrow and individual school reopening plans are due by the end of the month. I'm Jeff Perval, Channel 2 News.